Hi there, this is John Bishop and I'm here with my friends, uh, Dr. Nancy Flournoy, uh, David Jumper, his daughter Nikki and Nat from Mont Monterey. Today, we're just going to have a few testimonies uh, that uh, we'd like to share with you. And so I'd like to start off with Nancy, if you'd like to give yours first. Sure. Um... I, uh, John, my friend here, was director of the um, Pacific Northwest Ball the Ballet Theater. Northwest and Ballet Theater. The, the Northwest the Ballet the Theater, Ballet. not the Pacific, not the Pacific part, the Northwest Ballet Theater, and I was on his board, and uh, we hadn't, I hadn't seen him all summer long, and I saw him and his wife walking down the street, and I was just stunned. They looked so much younger. And so my husband and I, we got to chatting. He um, told us the story, uh, his story uh, about his um, back having this miraculous, this pain since he'd been a kid, um, getting totally relieved with um, a very short period of using the uh, ice wave patch. He can tell you that story, uh, but my husband had had um, severe pain in his hands for two years, and he had complained regularly to his doctor, and um, it was getting worse, and he couldn't move his fingers, and he'd been worked up for rheumatoid arthritis, and everything was negative, and he'd been worked up for, you know, does he have a pinched nerve in the back of his neck, and everything, every, every test was negative, and so, um, and so he endured this pain. And as soon as John, as soon as John told his story, we brought up Len's situation and John is so smooth, he whisked us into his office and started showing us all this stuff about LifeWave, which was totally overwhelming. But um, I could see uh, the things that happened for uh, John and Mieko. So he sent us home with some lightweight patches and I wish we just put them on right there because I got home, I was so nervous. You know, you're supposed to do this clock procedure where you put the patch on where the pain is and then you wait 10 seconds and you put the other one nearby and you wait 10 seconds and then you move it if you don't have a relief in pain and you go around and I think, well, I don't know what 10 seconds is and I get my, my iPhone out there. So I put the timer on so I know exactly what 10 seconds is and I put it in the first place and there's no effect. I move it to the second place and there's no effect. I move it to the third place and the pain is gone completely instantly. So, um, you know, we were rather stunned and, um, he, my husband then used the ice wave patches every day for a week or so, and then he started skipping a day. And I think after two weeks, he was, he was not using them at all. Um, so that was uh, our introduction to uh, life wave. And um, we, um, we, John's pretty good. So we had both come in as gold right there on the spot on the, uh, on his recommendation. And so we had a bunch of patches to uh, explore um, the use of. And we, we did that uh, kind of the way John was doing it, you know, try this one, try that one, try another one. And really um, saw a lot of good things happen. The next really um, sort of stunning thing was I took some patches down to, uh, to my mother's birthday party and saw a cousin uh, who's close to my age, I'm 75. And um, she had had a stroke at age 30 and uh, was pretty well paralyzed on one side of her body. And I mean, the patches, the ice wave patches are advertised for pain. Nobody had told me a word about, well, you might use them for a stroke, but I thought, well, I have them, let's see what's going on. And so I put the um, the tan patch right on her foot where she had had no pain for 30 years um, and or more than 30 years. And I put the other one a little bit above and all of a sudden she's moving her foot. And so, I mean, that was just really exciting. Uh, I did something similar uh, along the stroke line with a cat, our cat who was 20 years old and had a stroke and was paralyzed on one side of the body 
and I had to feed her. She couldn't open her jaw, so I was feeding her with a syringe, um, beef broth and electrolytes, and we're thinking, you know, we're going to have to put her down. This is just it. And I took the energy patches and strung them down the down her back. And after just uh, just a few, um, not even minutes, just just after a short period of time, she went like that, and and you know she pulled out of it. She could eat. Um, she was a little gimpy on the one leg for a while, and that continued to get better because, of course, then I continued to put X39 and glutathione and things on her. So um, that was cool. And maybe I should give somebody else a chance because I can go on. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. No, good, Nancy. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's been just really, you know, you say fun, but it's fun in a totally uplifting, um, amazing sort of way as you watch um, people get out of pain. Yeah. And I didn't see at that point too, because um, we're talking about Ice Wave and not X39, uh, it took me a little while to kind of, because that was working so well, I, you, you, I just kind of had blinders on. <laughs> and so I wasn't even, um, I got, I had X39, I was using it, but um, it took me a while to um, really start to notice some differences, like my energy, my sleep, even, um, I even felt like my, my, my breathing, respiration, uh, my energy and stamina when I do some workouts, everything was just kind of clicking. It was just like clicking on all cylinders. And I thought, okay, I was using mostly the ice wave just because of that back pain. But again, after a few weeks, I wasn't really using it so much. And then I started to think, okay, they're talking so much about this X39 patch. Uh, I began to study, study about it and watch the videos. And then I really, I, I kind of tracked myself like 30 days, 90 days, you know, um, 120 days, one year of using X39. And uh, each time I kind of looked at it, I'm like, dang, you know, <laughs> it seems I kind of look different, even sound different. You know what I mean? So uh, it's been quite an interesting journey that way. But I think you almost kind of can take the X39 for granted because it may not do things right away, you know, like the ice wave patch experience was. But if you continue to use it, I definitely feel it's the it's the it's the best patch of the bunch, and I've used the energy enhancer. I, I like that patch. I love the Eon patch, glutathione patch helped with some things with my wife, um, but I always come back to the X39. It's like if I'm, you know, short short on patches, that's okay as long as I have X X39 to use. So that's my my story. Yeah, the amazing thing about the X39. Um, it was after using it about six months and again you know not really knowing because you, I'm using other patches I'm doing other things you know is it, so not deciphering or pinpointing that this or that is due to the x39 but after about six months I woke up in the morning and I just felt good I felt right you know it's like I haven't felt this way since I was a teenager. You know, this is this is the way you're supposed to feel. And it was so back in my memory that that I hadn't even, you know, realized that the way I was feeling, you know, could be so much better. And 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 that was, you know, my awareness of that change in my sense of well-being was pretty um, immediate. It was like. Uh, it was like overnight. It was like you wake up and it's all different. And that was just absolutely um, wonderful. Yeah. And hey, Mary. Hi there. Hi, Mary. I got, <clears throat> I got my email belatedly. Ah, well, we're glad to have you. We're sharing stories here. Um, and... Uh, I had an amazing detox story this um, in in the fall. Um, the oh, fall, so I've been using the patches. What um, that would be about two years into having uh, used the patches, and uh, I had some 
um, well, where is it? So if you look here at all these blotches, um, these, this like, I don't know if you've been deep sea fishing and you're out there on the boat and all of a sudden there's like an oil slick that comes loose and you can see it rising up in the water and it hits the top of the, the surface and then it goes splat on the surface. Well, that's the way I, I actually was standing in front of the mirror. I saw these blotches, you know, come up from inside me and splat on, on my face. And it's getting a little blurry now, but when it came out and I have pictures, um, when it came out, it came, there's this absolutely clear right angle and it's about this wide. And it's, it was exactly the, it's a bruise. It was the exact image of a diving board accident I'd had when I was 10 years old. And I had, I had um, come down on the diving board and hit my head and my heart had stopped and I had fallen over on the side of the board and then fallen into the water, which started my heart again. Um, but at any rate, I, I had had lots and lots of therapy over the last 25 years, but I still had um, bones in my head that weren't in the right place. And so a lot of tension in the head and the neck and the jaw, et cetera. And this, I, I could always move my jaw one direction and not the other. and so. With this release, the um, my jaw freed up and some bones started moving around and 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 there was associated with all this reformatting of my structure. There was there was a lot of detox and I could recognize the detox because some years ago I'd got done mineral detox. I mean I knew what it was like to feel sick with stuff flowing through my body. So I really doubled up with the, the uh, glutathione and made sure I was using it, you know, very strongly and a few other substances to help flush things out. And it took a few days where I just felt pretty terrible. Um, and then um, there was just, you know, all kinds of, of repositioning of the bone structure in my face, really quite miraculous. Wow. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Fantastic. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. You know, I want and to share my I've... story as well. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, and back in, this is July 13 of uh, 2018, uh, I was sent these patches, my wife and I. Uh, we weren't told what they did. Um, and we'd been using all the LifeWay patches for many years prior but uh, at this time, my wife had been uh, suffering from an autoimmune uh, disorder um, that was causing her joints to swell. Uh, she had extreme pain in her joints. Um, and uh, she became, uh, uh, everything she ate actually uh, was causing flare-ups and was making it worse. Uh, so we started eliminating all the foods and um, and that, you know, helped with the flare ups, but it, it didn't get rid of the problem. And it, it, what happened was, uh, you know, by uh, the time we got the patches, uh, my wife was already down to the only thing she could eat in, in her diet was spinach and hemp protein and berries. That's it. So I, so I would make her, you know, hemp and spinach roll ups, uh, you know, or wraps. Um, and, uh, you know, she'd eat berries and, you know, I'd make her like a, a hemp berry shake, you know, um, and with hemp milk and, and it was a very limited diet. Um, and, uh, you know, she was in constant pain in the morning. She couldn't dress herself. I had to dress her. I had to, you know, uh, put, you know, basically help her out of bed. I couldn't even, you know, touch her barely because she was just sore everywhere. Um, and I help her down to the couch and I do all the cooking and cleaning and everything because she could no longer really, you know, she couldn't even drive anymore. She couldn't, you know, open a, a door handle uh, when she'd pick up a glass of water or something. She would usually drop it um, or drop plates and things like that. So she's just in so much pain. And so this was just getting worse and worse. And thankfully, you know, we were sent the X39 patches got those June 13, the morning of, I think of June 14, uh, 
I helped Spear that morning come down to the kitchen and I put her, uh, I put a patch in her hand um, and within, uh, you know, right away, you know, she started, you could tell her facial expression was uh, improving because she was, you could, you could tell she was in a lot of pain at that time as she always was in the morning. You know, that type of pain usually gets worse at night and in the morning. Um, and uh, so she, uh, uh, I did a couple muscle tests with her and I noticed that, um, you know, she was getting a little stronger and her, her uh, you know, she's starting to smile a bit, but basically she had tears of joy coming out of her eyes within five minutes because she was feeling, you know, so much better. What's miraculous is that 25 days later, she was fully recovered. I mean, she was back to driving again. She was cooking, cleaning, um, and, uh, you know, she bought all new clothes and, you know, she had her life back. And prior to that, you know, we had really given up hope thinking, you know, that was going to be our, our future, you know, retirement. Um, but since then, uh, we were actually able to uh, retire uh, to the Bahamas and we're enjoying ourselves here. Um, that we really made it a mission to share, you know, the X39 patches since then. And, you know, my wife's results were very fast. Okay. But on the, on the other hand, my results took a little bit more time because everybody's different. Um, and not everything works right away. Um, with, with the, when you're elevating the GHK copper peptide, you know, with that X39 patch, apparently, you know, some things work faster than others. And my knee was uh, one thing that took some time. So I'm watching, you know, my wife, you know, get all these miraculous results and I'm not noticing any improvement in my knee. My right knee, I had cracked my kneecap right up the middle back several years before, about eight years prior. And uh, it was always painful for me to run or use an elliptical machine or treadmill. And uh, by the fourth week though, that pain disappeared. So it was painful for three weeks. By the fourth week, that pain disappeared and it's never come back. So, you know, since then, you know, I've seen an improvement in my skin and, and uh, my hair and my general health. You know, I just feel a lot better, feel 20 years younger. My wife's felt the same way. So thanks to X39. Terrific. Yeah. yeah. Nikki, Nikki, would you like to share? I'd love to hear your testimony one more time. You know, that was... Hi, yes. You're, I a young, you're a young person. You're not like us, but, you know, it's nice to hear, like, a young person's experience with, with uh, <laughs> LifeWave, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely amazing for young people as well. For me, the biggest, ex like, best and, I guess, the most dramatic thing that I've seen in myself with X39 and X49 is in my skin, so one of the things that I had before was um, so I had scars all over my back from a staph infection. So it was terrible. My whole back was covered in welts and like scars of what had happened. And I thought I was going to have to, you know, fake tan forever to like hide these marks hey. that were all over my back. And that's really just what kind of what I was expecting to happen. I was like, this is just, I'm going to have these scars forever. And I put on X39 when we had first got them in the mail the same time that my dad got them. And I noticed in about two to three weeks, I looked in the mirror and all my, all the scarring was faded. And it was like pretty much completely back to normal and my skin looked flawless and perfect. And I was very confused because I didn't know that that's what it's supposed to do. And I was like, wow, this is very interesting. Um, and I'd completely cleared up my skin. And I also, at the same time, I had a, um, I had an infection in my earlobe that I couldn't get rid of from when I had my ears pierced. Again, I had like my second hole in my earlobe pierced, like freshly, and it was infected for a few months and I couldn't get rid of it. I used everything I could under the sun to get rid of this infection. It wouldn't go away. And then at around that same time that the two or three week mark, I noticed that the infection had completely disappeared in my earlobe 
And to give you reference, like it was probably like a lump the size of a blueberry in my earlobe of just like infection that like would not go away. And it had completely just disappeared. It just dissolved basically <laughs> and went away. So that was pretty dramatic. Um, you know, seeing that my skin had cleared up, the scarring, this coloration had went away from a pretty severe staph infection, which is pretty bad. So my skin cleared up, the infection in my earlobe had also cleared up. Um, so that was just like, that was miraculous to me because I was like, oh my goodness, like this is just, this is ridiculous. Like this is ridiculously amazing. <laughs> um, so I continued wearing X39 and I noticed that my workouts had also improved. So I was able to go from, you know, working out with my personal trainers three days a week and being sore all the time to working out five days a week with my personal trainers doing heavy leg days every day and not feeling sore. And I even kind of made it a bit of a joke because I was like, I'm not getting sore. So they would like push me really hard to like put me to my max and I was still not sore. And that was incredible to me. I was like, this is, this is absolutely insane to actually be able to work out and recover every single day and not really need to take time off. Um, so that was really exciting. And then I also noticed shortly after that, it was probably around the three month mark of wearing X39. Um, when I, I started going out places and people did not believe my age. So like I was getting ID'd at clubs and bars. Like I went to go get pizza from a bar because they had a pizza shop in the bar and they wouldn't let me in to go get pizza. And I, I was like, I don't have my ID, but like I never, I stopped getting ID'd, you know, cause I'm 31 now. So I think those, I was 29 around that. And so nobody was IDing me back then. And now I'm getting ID'd all the time. <laughs> Um, cause I think I'm much younger than I am. So I noticed that my skin started to really, really improve after three months. So for me, I personally love X39 as a beauty product for my skin and my hair. Um, and also as a fitness product so I can get the most out of my training and recover well. Um, I also noticed last week, well, it was probably like three days ago, I went to the gym and I didn't wear any of my patches. I didn't have coffee. I didn't have like any, I didn't do any of the things that I normally do before I would go work out. Cause I like just rolled out of bed and went, I felt like I was going to die. Like <laughs> I was like, okay, this is just, this is just crazy. Like I could feel the difference in the training. So I was training as like doing the same things that I would do before I was training as hard but it was much more difficult to get through it. Um, especially with mobility stuff, I was like not as flexible. Um, it just wasn't as easy to like get my body into the, um, into the mode that I wanted it to get in. So now I'm like, that was like the one day that I didn't wear the patches working out. I'm like, I will never do that again. I will always wear them uh, because they def it definitely makes a huge difference for training. Um, so yeah, there's a few, there's a few reasons why I wear X39, um, but it's definitely also for young people as well. So there you have it. Thank you. <laughs> That's Thanks. my story. Awesome. Thanks, Becky. That was great. Well, um, do we have time maybe for one more, uh, maybe from, from Mary or Nat, if, if you'd like to share experience that you had? You don't have to, but... Okay, well, uh, let me start the video. There we go. Oh, hey, Matt. Hi. This is my, my good friend. Yeah. yeah. So I am waiting yeah. until today, and then I will start using the patches you sent me. And so I'm really here just to find out what they do. Uh, the reason I am waiting is I'm going to have a balance test at audiology at the VA. And they said, don't change anything and stop taking and they gave me a list of medications not to take within 48 hours of the test and they said don't change anything drastically in your routine because that'll throw the science off they want to be able to know they're trying to find something in my inner ear or whatever with 
balance test after the exam, I'm going to start taking, um, I guess I'll start with X39. And um, we can just talk on the phone what which ones to use, which ones to apply. So I'm the before case. I have not used them yet. I am curious about, I saw some videos on light and changing levels in your body. But what I what I'm most curious about is how how can you get instantaneous results? But that doesn't make sense at all. You would think it would take some time, uh, you know, a day or so at least for something to take effect like depends this. Depends on what it is and it depends on what it is and what your body's requirements are. You know, you can't, your body's going to decide how to apply the, the light. And, you know, you may think your balance is the most critical thing and your body may say no you know we got something else over here you don't even know about we're going to work on it first so mm -hmm. um i think i think now we were talking you you said also uh, you had a uh accident where you fell off the bicycle on your hands right right, uh, right. there I went to physical therapy yesterday and i don't know if you can see the they did suction cup uh-huh yeah cupping uh-huh tiny suction cups on uh -huh. in a couple of places and they put they you know <clears throat> raise the flesh with the suction and then you, done, yeah yeah you move the joint the muscle underneath then uh and that helps somewhat and then just therapy exercises uh well people have helps. different approaches you know some people say I want to know like which patch is doing what or in terms of any therapy, you know, I want to do one thing at a time. So I know if this did X, Y, or Z. Um, mm -hmm. And my approach was always the kitchen sink approach. Well, not always, but once I started understanding anything about healing as opposed to getting sicker um, with the idea that I can always take something out of the, the mix. Uh, and see whether it makes me feel worse. But so many things work syn synergistically that mm -hmm. using you know, more than one thing can get you two or three or four times the benefit. And so um, you're in a position where I gather you've already got more than one patch. So I would, um, you know, there's a, a yeah. you know, there's, there's the, there is a you know one train of thought that says just use the X39. It's nice and simple, and you can see what's happening. Uh, and the other approach is well, you got a lot of problems going on, so you know kind of put them out there, and then um, and, and try to get the biggest bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done the same thing. It's I call it playing with the patches, you know, and then moving them around and. And that's how I think my knee improved. Uh, David, you were talking about your, your knee. That mine wasn't nearly that bad. But after dancing for so many years, you know, basically jumping, especially on my right leg, because I was more of kind of right side and, you know, jumping way up in the air and coming down on one leg and then having the other leg in back, you know, 90 degrees off the floor. That really took a, they call it jumper's knee. And um, it was really, really bad when I got into my 50s. So, of course, I couldn't really dance very well. And but I started putting putting the X39 and uh, the ice wedge, uh, the Eon patch. That's the one I was using as well. And I just started every day. I'd say, okay, I'm going to put it here today. I'm going to put it here tomorrow. And I just kept doing that. I have not had any knee pain in over two years now. So it's never come back. And it's still kind of almost I want to test it out, you know, but then you're always afraid, oh, my God, you know, I, I don't want to do something ridiculous and injure myself again. But um, I uh, have these huge hills that I have to walk up with. I don't think I could have done that two years ago, um, but it's like San Francisco here, downtown Seattle. And I just kind of just glide up the, the hills. But one day I didn't put any patches on. I could barely get up the hill. I was just huffing. <laughs> Kind of like that Nikki story. I was just like, oh my God, I am never going to forget when I have to go down to the market and get some groceries and then walk back up that hill. So, so yeah, it is, it's good to play, play, play around with them. Uh, but I always put the X39 in the back of my neck or under my belly button each day. And then there's the X49 as well. So I start alternating those. And my workouts have been like when I was in my 30s, you know, uh, I don't jump anymore though. <laughs> <laughs> done, with, done with jumping right nancy you're lifting <laughs> I, I i'm really looking forward
forward to it again. You know, I've been <laughs> if doing I, if I do that again, it'll, and, it'll be a Zoom real classes where I can't really turn and jump. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to go back to the studio because I'm ready to turn and jump. I can just <laughs> feel it. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this has been great. Um, thanks. Thanks, uh, David, Nikki, and Matt, and Mary for joining. Uh, Nancy and I'd like to keep this uh, uh, Saturday uh, casual casual testimony meeting going because it's it's just it just enforces everything when you hear other people's uh, stories. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it would be uh, great to uh, continue this just for people to leave testimonials only. That'd be awesome. Yeah, 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 definitely. So uh, sounds great. Great to meet you, Nat. Look forward to hearing your, your yeah, testimony. A few a few weeks from now, uh, we'll look forward we'll look forward to seeing you any Saturday you want to drop in. But certainly, as you progress here in a couple of weeks, we'll be looking for a report. Should be fun. Okay, I'll probably check back in a couple of weeks. I have to go travel next weekend. It's the it's the three day weekend. It's time to go someplace and get out of the house. Absolutely. So, so I hear. So I hear. So I probably won't be online with anything i'll call you right back yeah, yeah i uh, i try to not go traveling when everybody else is going traveling it seems. <laughs> well, have a great weekend everybody okay. have a great yeah. weekend everybody thanks. thank you thanks for coming bye bye mary have a great weekend mary.